Hey guys, Shock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we have a massive new update for millions of Samsung Galaxy smartphones. This is the One UI beta number three for the Samsung Galaxy S25 series. So let's dive in and see exactly what is going on. I'm gonna go to my settings right over here, and it says right over here a software update is available. I do like this boxy beveled notifications on the top of the display. This is with One UI 8.5 by the way. But I'm gonna go down over here, I'm gonna go to software update. I'm gonna tap on check for updates and you can see we have it right over here. Now let's quickly take a look at the stats on this update. So you can see it's One UI 8.5, the version ending in ZZA3. Again, this is beta number three. We have a whole bunch of bugs that have been fixed. It's not listing any new features, but we do have some feature enhancements I'm gonna show you in a second. And if I go down over here, you can see the size is in fact massive. It is over one gigabytes. And it includes January 1st security patch, so that is fantastic. I'm gonna tap on resume update. By the way, while that is happening, I do wanna show you something really quickly. I'm not sure if I covered this previously, but when you pull down the notifications panel, uh, the control panel over here on One UI 8.5 beta, and you tap on the edit button, I did not realize this, but you are able to actually resize the player widget, okay? So look at that. I can have a larger player widget, whatever is playing in the background, okay? Or if I tap on edit, I can actually make it nice and compact, which is what I prefer, and that is the minimum size. Now we also have a bug when you pinch the screen and you tap on the widgets, uh, there's a search icon here. When I tap it, it comes here. When I tap it again, it goes down here and that one disappears. So we'll look at that bug as well. All right, so the update is now installed. We're gonna restart, we're gonna be right back to see what's up. All right, so we're back in business. Let's see exactly what is going on. First, let's just see how the operation is here. Actually, it feels a little bit smoother, to be honest. Looks like they did some under the hood improvements to make this thing feel a little bit smoother. Let's see how that does. Yeah, so that's not that bad. Drop a comment down below and let me know if you are noticing slight improvement in the overall stability and performance. So that's great. Let's go to the settings real quick. I'm gonna go over to the change log real quick. Tap over here. Love that new screen, by the way. And let's look at last update, okay? So it looks like we have some feature enhancements and bug fixes for the clock display on the lock screen, which is true. I just looked at it. And if I pinch the screen, go to wallpaper and style, or if I just go to my lock screen, you can see the shifting clock is now smoother and it's more malleable, okay? So it's shifting even better. Look at that number three, how it goes down all the way as much as it can, okay? And it does it very smoothly. So that's definite enhancement right there. Let's uh, pinch the screen, go to wallpaper and style, tap over here. And I just wanna show you guys, if I move this around, very smoothly it shifts as necessary. Look at that. The four, the one, very, very nice. So you can have some really nice effects uh, with this or any wallpaper. Let's tap on that. Let me see how that behaves in the lock screen. Mostly I'm looking for weird bugs and glitches. All right, so much better right over there. Let me go back over here, try another wallpaper. Let's choose this one over here, okay? And uh, if I move this down a little bit, if I tap on that, that's the shifting clock right now. There we go. Beautiful, okay? Now I'm able to use the blur effect with the shifting clock, look at that. I've got my blur on the top, my shifting clock, and then my wallpaper at the bottom, that is great. So we have some really nice enhancements to the lock screen over here. So if you were having any kind of errors, that's been resolved. Also resolved the issue related to favorites in the phone application, which is great. I had not noticed that one. Fix the issue where now briefing does not display. So there were issues where the now briefing were not was not showing, okay, at the bottom here, which is not showing right now because there's nothing to show. But if there's anything to show, it's gonna pop right up, okay? So that's great, that's been fixed as well. Improve the screen lagging issue when using live effects in the gallery, that is great as well. Improve the issue of high power consumption when a specific app is running. Now that, 
I'm not really sure what they're talking about, which specific app. You guys gotta make that clear. So you might see better battery life if you were using that specific app, whichever app that might be. And then it says, enhance the visibility of the search button on the widget edition screen. So if I pinch, and if I go to my widgets, uh, the search bar over here, the search function, the visibility has been enhanced. You can see it is plain white now, uh, even though I think it should have a little bit of an effect, like a transparent effect, but the visibility has been enhanced here, and also, now it disappeared, by the way. Actually, no, it came down. So look at that. Uh, I'm gonna pinch, widget. Initially, it is on the top. You tap on search, it comes here. When I tap back over here, it goes down here. So that is actually a bug. Why is it down here now? It should either remain there or remain at the bottom. Just take that and put it around here. And now, it actually has a background, a white background. So that's what they might be meaning with visibility enhancement because we now have that white background on the search bar, but it's still buggy, that is for sure. So let me show you what that is. Pinch, go to the widgets. There is no background around search. When I tap on search, the search comes over here, which is fine, but when I tap again to get rid of it, it goes down, and then if I tap again, or let's uh, do this, it comes back with an actual background. So that's definitely a bug they need to fix. So that was the last option over here. It says enhance, but it really kind of messed the whole thing up. But beyond that, let's also look at the uh, settings. Uh, go to safety and security, privacy, and go to updates. I wanna check to see if the Google Play system update is now up to date as well. It's stuck on November, that's January, that is great. Tap on it to see if it's available. Uh, I don't think it is, so it's not available. So we're still in November on that one. If you go to the Galaxy Store, you can also check to see if any new apps were updated specifically for One UI 8.5. Let's see, I'm not seeing that right now, but I think we're, we're gonna get a batch of apps that do get updated for One UI 8.5 in installments, alrighty? So that's about it, guys. Great little update with that little bug that came, even though it's supposed to be a fix. But if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you notice something else, drop a comment down below and let me know. Guys, for now, have a fantastic day. See you in the next video.